so as a historian what do you think explains the academic curiosity around the, the, the resurrection of christ well jesus made some really radical claims while he was here he claimed to be god's uniquely divine son he claimed that god had chosen him to usher in his kingdom um and he was making claims that salvation could be found only through him so when you make these kinds of claims of course <laughs> you know people are going to ask for proof some evidence and jesus said he'd give one proof and that is his resurrection so if jesus rose from the dead then we could know that christianity is true to the exclusion of other religions but if if jesus did not rise from the dead then that would mean that he was a false prophet a failed messiah and we can reject christianity as god's revelation of himself so that's what makes it so the, the resurrection event so important and a lot has been written on the resurrection uh you mentioned gary habermas a few moments ago he is writing his magnum opus on the resurrection right now i mean there's no greater authority in the world on the resurrection than gary habermas and uh he said that uh i think uh, about 4300 um academic sources journal articles and books have been written on the resurrection of jesus since 1975 4300 that he's found That's so that that's quite a a lot and Dale Allison who's a prominent New Testament scholar who teaches at Princeton um says uh yeah, that the overwhelming majority of scholars and Habermas would say this too the overwhelming majority of scholars do agree that the disciples had experiences they were convinced were appearances of the risen Jesus so what led them to this belief that Jesus had risen and appeared to them and Dale Allison answers that the answer to that question is the prize puzzle of New Testament research so it's a major issue the curiosity is is certainly an understatement there when it comes to uh New Testament scholars and philosophers